I can't wait to get out of this place. I've had enough antiseptic and good cheer to last me till Christmas 2020. But it is you, fluorescent lights, and paperwork I will miss most of all. Luke? Hmm? Maybe checking you out today is a bad idea. No. Checking me in was the bad idea. I need to go home, Tracy. I need peace and quiet. Luke, I know you're antsy. Fancy? Maybe we should get a second opinion. On what? Menu options. Your health. Sign this. My health is fine. Yeah, well, I, I would feel better if I heard that from a doctor. You did? Another doctor. He'll tell you the same thing again. Luke, I just want to make sure that you're all right before I take you home. Because if you think I'm going to hire some buxom blonde nurse to live in and take care of you, you've got another thing coming. You mean like this one? Oh, ye of patchy memory. Oh. How are you doing? Better. Now they're springing me. I'm really sorry that you got dragged into the whole Heather mess. I was glad to help. You look good. <laughs> yes. You look uh, like maybe you should have remembered that your uncle was locked up by some lunatic in her minions. I feel so bad about that. I am so sorry. Being buried alive had me a little scattered. Hmm. Listen to that excuse. Hey, she's been through an ordeal, Tracy. Really? Give her some consideration. Thank you. And since when do you defend Carly? I honor family ties. You're still high, aren't you? What? The drugs that they pumped you full of at Miss Cabbage. It's still, they're coursing through your veins. No, they're not. I am just tired. I'd like to go home, please. Okay, man. Please, please don't do this. What are you doing? Get out! Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. What was that? Was he robbing the place? For, for some reason, he seemed intent on killing me. Police are on their way. Oh, Luke, thank God. He made it to the tree line, then disappeared. Did you really think you were going to catch him minutes out of the hospital? I'm fit as a fiddle. And dumb as a post. Hey, I didn't want him coming back here and hurting somebody I care about. Me? You? You know, this is touching, truly. But the only person who was in any danger was yours truly. Listen, that guy, that guy purposefully waited for Michael to leave. He let himself in and then he tried to kill me. Are you sure you didn't just interrupt a burglary? Tracy, think about it. He was watching us, right? I mean, why not just wait until I leave so that he can rob the place? Maybe he's not the sharpest tool in the shed? No, 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 no. this guy had a mask on, all right? I could not identify him. Killing me was unnecessary. He's right. So, who is it that wants you dead? I'll tell you who's at the top of the list. Donnie. It has to be. He's wanted payback ever since Connie died. Oh, to say nothing of the countless other reasons he's wanted you dead, but why now? Look, the last time that he came after me, Michael was able to stop him. My son is the only reason that I'm breathing right now. <coughs> Sorry, Michael and you. Thank you for the save. Think nothing of it. So you're saying that Sonny promised your son that he would leave you alone. Well, yeah, think about it. You know, what better way to get me to drop my guard? Sonny's not known for going back on his word. Look, Sonny would kill me in a heartbeat if he thought he had plausible deniability to Michael. Instead, he just, he just sent some goon to do it. I'll handle this. Handle what? This has nothing to do with us. Give this to the cops. Tell them the intruder dropped it. I'll have a word with Sonny. Luke, no! Adios. <sighs> well? Oh, what? I already thanked you for saving me. I am going to go out front to wait for the police. Just tell me, are you really going to tell them the Sunny story? What story? I'm going to tell them what happened. AJ, think. Is there anyone else that wants you dead? <laughs>